I'm here for the flight to Boston. Well, I hope you have two tickets. Why, yes, I do. Okay, EXF 315. Yes, I see you have two tickets. It's so refreshing not to have to fight with people like you. I'm sure you know how it is. Big people come in and try to fit in one seat. Anyway, here are your tickets, Mary Lou. Um, my name's Mary. Lou is my husband. Oh, I see it here. Lou Turner. I'll put that down as a passenger-free seat. Oh, no. Uh, Lou will be here shortly. He's still parking the car. That's fine. We'll see about getting him a ticket when he gets here. Okay, I guess I'll wait for him at the gate. Karen is making larger passengers pay for two seats. Even though it's no longer airline policy, will she get in trouble for it? Sorry, Mr. Baker, but you told me I could contact you directly. That's perfectly all right, Charlotte. I always want to know what's going on with my airline. Well, I think we have a problem with Karen Reynolds at check-in. Not Karen Reynolds again. What is it now? She's making passengers who aren't even plus size buy an extra seat. Really? We got rid of that plus size policy a while ago. I thought so. That's why I called. Huh. Looks like I'm going to have to come down to the airport and do another ride along. Okay. Won't everyone get a surprise when they see the president of the airline? Hello, miss. We're on the flight to Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, Grandma, it's Boston. Shh. It's spelled like Worcester. Ma'am, that's a small regional airport. We don't fly there. You're going to need to connect at Logan. Ogden? We're not going to Utah. No, Grandma, Logan is the name of the airport in Boston. That's right. Let me see your tickets. Here you go. Jackie Schneider and Chad Collins. Those are two different last names. Yeah, he's my grandson. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Knock it off, Grandma. <laughs> Shh. Oh, you're not his parent? Are you a legal guardian? Oh, I know I look young, but... She's my grandma. I am taking him to our cottage to meet the rest of the family. You're taking him? Yeah, I don't want to go, but Uncle Herbert's in bad health, and I've never met Aunt June. You're taking him against his will? Well, kind of. Uh, no, I'm his grandmother. Well, I'm going to need to see some proof of that. How am I supposed to prove that I'm his grandmother? She's got you there, Grandma. Shh. I'm going to have to report this to the authorities. You go to the gate while I get security. Oh, security? Now Karen is detaining Grandma. Will she be able to get on the flight? All right, Mrs. Schneider. What are you trying to pull here? Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get on a flight with my grandson. What do you mean, grandson? It says right here, your names are completely different. That's not unheard of. <laughs> He's been my grandson his entire life. Oh, yeah? If he's really your grandson, I'm going to need to see some proof. Oh, and how am I supposed to do that? I'll ask the questions around here. What do you take me for? I'm not new on this job, you know. Well, we do kind of look alike. You're going to have to do better than that. Taking a kid is a serious offense. We're going to send you away for a long time. Oh, but I've never even had a parking ticket. So what do you want me to do? Well, because I'm a nice guy and we're such a friendly airline. I'm going to let you take a DNA test to prove that you're related. A DNA test? That's ridiculous. Oh, well, if it'll get us on that flight, fine.
Hi, I'm Lou Turner. I believe my wife already checked us in. Turner, Turner. Oh, here you are. Yes, we're on the flight to Boston. Yes, I see Turner here. But do you also have a ticket? Yes, I believe my wife already checked me in. Yes, she did. But she designated that ticket as a passenger-free seat. <laughs> what on earth is a passenger-free seat? That's what people do at Mary Lou's size. They buy two tickets. No, her name is Mary. My name is Lou. We're two different people. Don't try to fool me with technicalities. We both know she's the size of two people. You know, if it wasn't for crazy logic, you'd have no logic at all. Can you please just put me on this flight? Fine, I'll do that because I'm nice. But you're going to need another ticket. Whatever, just get me on the flight. I'm sorry, I can't get you a ticket. We're oversold. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? Go up to the gate and they'll call your name. This is unbelievable. Because Karen assigned Lou's ticket to an empty seat, now he can't fly. Charlotte, there you are. Mr. Baker, thank you for coming. I need you to tell me, which flight is Karen Reynolds working today? Yes, she's on flight 312 to Boston. Oh, hello, Rachel. Good to finally meet you. Hi, Mr. Baker, president of the airline. Such an honor to have you here. And it's an honor to be here. After all, there's no better way to get to know your airline than to be a passenger. Oh, well, is there anything I can get you or alert the crew? No, let's just keep this between us. I prefer not to tell the crew. Attention, attention! Will Mary Ann Lou Turner come to the podium, please? Hi, I'm Mary Turner. Hi, Mrs. Turner. I received a message. Your husband is here, but he doesn't have a ticket. I've got his ticket right here. Wait a minute. This ticket is booked as a non-passenger seat. Well, what does that mean? That means it's a paid, unoccupied seat. But my husband's name's on the ticket. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, it's a crazy policy around here. Nobody likes it. I'll take care of it for you. You will? Yeah, of course. Just wait over there for your husband. Thanks. All right, Mrs. Schneider. You're lucky I'm so easy. Your DNA test came back as a match. Turns out you are the grandmother. Thank you. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You're free to go, but let me give you a piece of friendly advice. Next time, don't brag to the airline about taking a child. I will take that under consideration. <sighs> what happened? You wouldn't believe this woman at the counter. Oh, I believe it. Some kind of nonsense about having to buy an extra ticket? Oh, great. How much did that cost us? Turns out that nice young lady at the podium didn't charge me at all. Oh, finally something good about this airline. Oh, don't look now, but here comes the dragon lady. Oh. You! You sit right here! Grandma, are you okay? I'm fine. Were they good to you? I guess, but they took a spit sample from me. Ooh. You two passed our test. That means you're off the hook. Off the hook? What does that mean? It means you're related. You can't hide it from us anymore. Oh, you're Mary and you're Lou. Go right ahead. Finally, Mr. Turner gets to fly after all, thanks to Rachel, the nice flight attendant. Oh, Mr. Turner, your bag. Oh, my bag? What is it? 
I'm sorry, you can't carry on that big one. I'm gonna need to check it. Oh, I get it. We never got that far downstairs. Hey, Karen, I've got it back from up at the gate. I need you to check in. Okay, Chip, what's the name? Oh, it's Lou Turner. Wait a minute, he's not supposed to fly. Really? Is he on the list? No, not that list. I'll take care of it. There they are. What do you want me to do about it? She's supposed to have two seats, and he's not supposed to be on this plane. I can't throw him off. That's the woman that didn't want me on the plane. <sighs> yeah, I already know. Well, if you don't throw them off, I will. Wait, I think I know someone who can. You better. I think they're going to kick me off this flight. I don't think so. Really? You know what they say, what goes around comes around. Excuse me, are you the Turners? Yes, we are. Who are you? I'm Robert Baker, president of Totally Airlines. Well, I just want to say that your policy of buying two tickets for one person is wrong. You know what? I agree with you. You do? Well, what are you going to do about it? You'll see. Karen Reynolds. Finally, we get to meet. You look familiar. Oh, Mr. Baker, what a surprise to have you on this flight. The biggest surprise is seeing how you treat our passengers. Oh, thank you. I only had the best interests of the airline in mind. Making one passenger pay for two seats is not in their best interests. Well, yeah, it is. That way we have less work. You know who else needs even less work? I don't know. Is there someone else I should have charged extra? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the person that needs less work is you. Are you giving me a promotion? No. I'm firing you. Firing me? I'm your most loyal employee. Not anymore. Get off my plane. What? Ah! I can't believe this. And it's all your fault. Karen got fired for treating passengers poorly. What happens when she gets caught stealing their luggage? I came in from the flight from Los Angeles and I'm connecting to New York. Good for you, but I really don't need to know that. Well, actually you do because I didn't get my bag. Well, I can check with baggage handling on that. Did it contain any valuables? Well, it did have a laptop inside. Why do you ask? Oh, a laptop. That would probably trigger a manual inspection. Let me check with baggage handling. Vivian, is that you? Yeah, I got some lady complaining up here that she didn't get her bag. So? What do you want me to do about it? Can you just look for it? I need to get her off my back. Fine. Is it a blue one? Because I think I know where it is. No, it's some sort of orange triangular thing and it I think it has a laptop inside. Oh, orange? It's right here. But there's no laptop inside. Perfect. I'll talk to you later. Final boarding call for Flight 77 to Las Vegas at Hi, I'm on the flight to New York. Welcome to Totally Airlines. Do you have your seat assignment? Yeah. Uh, 20 D&E. 20 D&E. Uh, Rivers and Jordan. That's us. We can just head to the gate, right? I'm gonna need to check your luggage. Oh, yeah. Here you go. I'm gonna need that TV and PlayStation as well. No, we're carrying these on. Yeah, they go together. Okay, that PS5, you might be able to carry on, but that TV, no way will that be able to come on board. <sighs> okay, fine. Ha! Nobody gets my PS5. Ashley! <sighs> yes, Vivian? I need you to make an announcement. <gasps> announcement? I've never done that before. 
Like, what should I say? We don't have any overhead space, so you need to tell them that all carry-ons need to be approved by me. I can't believe they took my TV. If they didn't take it, you'll get it back after we land. Oh yeah? My grandma flew this airline last year. I took her wheelchair. What? Who takes a wheelchair? Attention all passengers. Due to this being an overbooked flight, we are asking that you check all carry-on baggage. By baggage, I mean backpacks, purses, and just other stuff. If you want us to make an exception, or if you think that something might fit in the seat back in front of you, you can bring it to the boarding area and get it approved by my supervisor, Vivian. Because I'm new, and thank you for flying Totally Airlines. What? No carry-ons? That's what she said. What are we gonna do about Grandpa? I'm sure your purse will be fine. And my bag will fit under the seat. Well, my Louie won't. Do you know how much these things cost? Well, she said you could talk to her supervisor. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This young couple is taking a family treasure to New York. Hopefully nothing happens to it. Good news. You get to carry this on. Where's your laptop? You're not gonna believe it. They made me check it, because it's high value. That makes no sense. It should be the other way around. Dude, where's your PlayStation? Th they took it. Well, like you said, you should get it back when we get to New York. <sighs> yeah, they said security's been getting extra tight. Because they said there's been a lot of theft? Russell says there's been a history of theft on the airline. But is it still a problem? So, I got a PS5 and a 4K TV so far. Would you stop looking for electronics? I told you, jewelry's more valuable. You just want the small stuff so we can plan it on the new girl like we did with Wendy. We don't have to get her fired yet. Nobody suspects anything. Good, because we almost got busted. Totally Airlines Flight 146 with non-stop service to New York JFK will now commence boarding through gate 35. Oh, there are our seats, honey. Oh, great. They're all filled up. Where am I going to put my bag? Oh, give it to me. There's a bin up there. Okay, here it is. But remember, you know what's inside. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Yes? What can I do for you? You can't fly with that big purse on your lap. I tried to put it underneath my seat, but there's some equipment down there. I don't want to scratch it up. This is expensive. That's an emergency row in front of you. There's no underseat storage. What am I supposed to do with it? You're lucky I'm so good-natured. I'll hold on to it for you. All right, here you go. That flight attendant is so sweet. Oh, hi Vivian, would you like me to put that bag away? Oh no, I'll take care of this one. I think it's time for the drink service. Okay, I know what to do. Vivian's gotten rid of Ashley. Now's her chance to take whatever she wants. Hi, can I get you any drink service? Here you go, ladies. sir. And for you, miss. Oh, Ashley, go make the arrival announcement. Arrival announcement, got it. <sighs> Passengers, prepare for arrival in New York. Make sure all of your personal belongings are stowed. 
either in the overhead compartment or under the seats in front of you. Make sure your tray tables are in the upright and locked positions and your seat belts are securely fastened. And thank you for flying Totally Airlines. They found my bag. Feels awfully light. Oh, here's mine too. You know what? I'll get a luggage cart. Let's make sure everything's all there. That's a good idea. Well, where is it? Where's what? My TV, remember? I don't know. At least my bag's here. Wait a minute. My PlayStation! Oh, right. They made you check it, didn't they? Yeah. I knew something would happen to it. Maybe it's hooked up to my TV right now. You're right. Somebody must have taken him. We better find them before they get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's my bag. Don't worry. I'll take that for you. Hey, where's my laptop bag? It's got to be here. They made you check it in. I think somebody must have taken it. We better check with the baggage office. Good idea. It's over there. Oh, there's our bags. Oh, I'll go get them. Not so fast. What's wrong? You two should check your bags. There's a lot of items missing. Really? Checked your carry-on. Both. Jewelry, purses, electronics, just about anything of value. Oh no, Grandpa! We've got to check! Yeah, look in the bag. <gasps> He's gone! We've got to catch whoever did this. There is still a lot of theft going on. How is the airline going to figure out who's doing it? Hey, where are you going with that? It's doing my job, man. Who are you? This is my operation. I'm Mitch. Just transferred in from the Dallas hub. It, how's the action around here? Keeps us busy. What's it to you? What's it to me? You're standing on a gold mine here. You gotta have thousands of dollars of merch. Let me get this straight. Are you talking about stealing? Never mind. Guess you're not interested in extra cash. What are you talking about, extra cash? I was gonna cut you in for 10% of whatever we pull out of this stuff. What? Only 10%? Yeah, I got peoples I gotta pay. Dude. I'm already at 50% because I split the rest with my partner. Well, looks like we're gonna have to pay your partner a visit. Let's go, we got a place for people like you. Who are you anyway? Air Marshal. Hey, this whole thing wasn't my idea. Oh really? Tell me what you know and I might put in a good word for you. I can do better than that. I'll lead you to her. This way. This is all wrong! This wasn't my idea! Yeah, that's what I told him. 